Hi, this is Denise Matthew, and today I'm going to make a toggle style necklace. Now, the difference between this is the toggle is worn in the front and it's part of the design. Now, you can use any kind of a toggle you want. I've got a heart here just because I had that on hand, but you could use a circle one and you could use something more simple. I've added three briolette beads to the toggle for an added accent. You could add more or less based on what you want to do. You can change up the beads as much as you like. Use bolder beads or lighter beads. It's really your choice. So, let's get started. I'm using a 20 millimeter heart shaped toggle and also 5 millimeter gemstone beads as well as some briolettes. They're all about 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters. One is chalcedony, one is smoky quartz, and the other is citrine. Now you can pick any colors you want. Use crystals instead of gemstones, it's your choice. I'm working with a 24 gauge wire, probably about a foot and a half. You could go down to a 26 gauge if you wanted. I wouldn't go much lower than that because it might be a little too flimsy. And you can go up to 22 to 20, whatever work fits your bead. So I'm just going to do a wrapped briolette. I have more pictures if you need more help at the end. And I also have some other tutorials on how to do wrapped briolettes. So basically you just put the, the stone on the wire and then you're just going to bend it in towards the tip like this and do the same thing on the other side. Then you're going to go to the top of the shorter wire and do a 90 degree angle and then a loop. Then before you close the loop, you're just going to slide it onto your toggle. Mine has a bit of a lattice work, so I'm putting it through one of the holes. When you're making your loop, you just have to make sure that it's big enough to go around the area that you want to put it on on your toggle. So just slide it right on, trying to keep your loop intact. Once it's on your toggle, you're just going to take your chain nose pliers and hold the loop and then you're just going to wrap down on those two wires down towards the briolette to make a wrap briolette. And just keep wrapping down till you get to the tip and then you're going to want to capture the tip with the wire so that the tip is within the wire that you're wrapping. I find it easier to use my fingers to hold the briolette after I get down to a certain level. So you can do whatever feels comfortable for you. Take as much time as you need to make sure it's nice and neat and even. And you might have to straighten out the beads so that the wire goes over the beads tip. I just changed my grip so you have a better view of how it looks. And when you feel that you've wrapped enough, then what you can do is make sure all the coils are nice and tight together and then you can go back up across the bead and then right to the top and then just wrap a few times. Then trim back the excess and then just tuck in that wire. Then you're going to add the rest of the briolettes exactly the same way as you did the first one. When all the briolettes are on, then you can just put that part aside and we can start working on the actual necklace part. This part is optional, but what I like to do is add about three five millimeter jump rings to the other side of the toggle. Actually, both sides, I'll add three on either side. And that's only so the toggle will go in and out a little bit easier. Now, again, it's not essential, but it does help to make the toggle work a little bit more smoothly. I'm working with a 24 gauge wire, the same wire I used for wrapping the briolettes, and I just made just a one loop. And I'm just going to do a standard closed loop, and then I'm just going to start to add the beads. And basically it's just a closed loop chain. So you're just going to grab the loop and then just take the tail of wire and wrap it around the wire, and just keep wrapping until it's all gone. Once you have a wrapped loop, you're just going to start adding your beads. I'm working with 5 millimeter faceted agate beads. They're all different colors and that's the way they came on the string and um, you can use bigger ones or smaller beads, any type of beads. Pearls would look really nice as well. Now you're just going to make a 90 degree angle and a loop but not close it.
Now you're just going to slide that loop right onto the last jump ring and then you're going to close the loop. Then you wrap down a few times, as many as you like, three or four is what I usually do, and then just trim back the wire and tuck it in. You're just going to continue to add more wrapped loops and do just a closed loop chain, and you'll continue to do that until you have the desired length. I want to make an 18 inch necklace, so I'm going to take into account how long my toggle is with the jump rings and also the beads in between. So I'll do one more wrap loop, and that's just a loop. Slide it onto the loop you've just made, and then close it. Add your bead, and then do another wrap loop, and then you just continue on. Now that I have 16 inches of wrap chain, I'm going to just make an open loop again. I'm going to add it to the last link that I made on the chain, and then I'm going to close it, add a bead, then I'm just going to add it to the other end of the toggle, and that will complete my necklace. But before I add the other half of the toggle and close the necklace, I'm going to add those three jump rings. I'm just going to make a loop, but before I close the loop, I'm going to attach it to the other part of the toggle, the heart shape where the briolettes are. Just slide it right on the last jump ring. And then all you're going to do is close the loop, trim back the excess, and tuck it in. That would be your completed necklace. This completes the tutorial. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for coming. Bye for now.